How's it going, guys and girls? Hope you guys are having a great week. For me, this week has been absolutely insane. I started a new job, and on Saturday, I move into a new house. So that's all exciting. But uh, this is the first time that I've actually been able to sit down and get on with this video. So I've been promising this video for a while. So here it is. Finally, I'm going to actually weigh in on the whole console war thing that's going on. So this video is in in response really to a video that was came out uh, last week I think by Plain and Simple Man. I'll put the a link to the video in my description. It's a great video. Please go check it out. So here it goes. This is me weighing in on the console war. So as I say, the console war, it's far from over. People that say Sony's won it, Microsoft's won it, Nintendo's won it. You're lying. The console war is going to be a long, drawn-out war. There might have been some battles here and there and some victories here and there, but it's going to be a long, long stretch before a winner can actually be named. But I will say right now that I agree with Plain and Simple Man, and I do think right now the PS4 is definitely winning. And here are my reasons why. So, when the Xbox One came out, Microsoft absolutely drop the ball uh, and here are the reasons why i think so so firstly just like uh plain and simple man said the price i completely agree the xbox one was far far too expensive um it was 100 uh pounds i think it was 100 dollars more expensive than the ps4 um and you were forced to buy the connect with it you weren't even given a choice and it wasn't really until seven months later that microsoft actually gave you the option to have a connect connect free console why did it take microsoft so long if they had actually paid attention to twitter and the online feeds and everything that people have been saying about the connect for oh i don't know about three or four years they would have realized that the connect was not a popular piece of hardware and probably wouldn't have forced people to buy it actually sony didn't force people to buy the uh, playstation i and it actually sold really well and a lot of people bought it with the ps4 when it came out because it was an optional um and people just like that choice people do not like things forced down their throat they prefer the choice uh, to be given to them so that was definitely a key key thing for me also microsoft really their marketing if you ask me was pretty atrocious it was terrible um it just seemed like to me that Microsoft didn't really understand what their console was all about. Is it about TV? Is it about movies? Is it about games? Nobody really knew. There was too much focus on sports, too much focus on American sports. Microsoft, a large part of your consumers are not American. So when you talk about your Xbox, don't just focus on NFL, NHL, American football, whatever it is you actually need to show a little bit more variety and also you really needed to focus a lot more on games it is a gaming console the majority of your loyal customers are hardcore gamers and that is what we're interested in so when it came to me choosing between an xbox one and a ps4 i of course understandably went for the ps4 because it offered more games it was all about games and i just trusted Sony a lot more than I did Microsoft and one of the reasons behind that was the management um, Don Matrick case in point Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360, right? So stick with 360, that's your message if you don't, well, if you don't like it. If, if you have zero access yeah. to the internet, that is an offline <laughs> device. I mean, yeah. <laughs> absolutely awful the management behind microsoft was shocking it's like they did not know what they were doing they were on drugs who knows nobody knows but seriously some of the shit they were coming out with was just hilarious um but i will say this microsoft actually have good management now i will say that the new phil spencer i like him he seems like a guy that knows what he's doing he's got his head screwed firmly on his shoulders and he is leading microsoft in the right direction so I will give Microsoft some credit there for actually turning around and going, you know what? 
maybe we better get rid of this guy and replace him with somebody who knows what they're doing. Now, I'm not saying it was all Don Matrick's fault. He obviously had a team around him. But at the time, pretty much the marketing and the management was atrocious. And that is one of the major reasons why they lost so many loyal customers. I am not a PlayStation fangirl. I am not an Xbox fangirl. I'm not a Nintendo fangirl. I am a gaming fangirl. I have owned an Xbox and an Xbox 360, and I was more than interested in buying an Xbox One, but after seeing the marketing and seeing the focus, I decided, you know what? I think the safest bet for me is to jump onto the PlayStation 4, and that is what I did. And I have never regretted that decision. So, um, this is why I think the PS4 is winning. Uh, clearly, the statistics do prove it. Sony have released their first quarterly sales. And it is clear that the PlayStation 4 is outselling the Xbox One. 3 to 1. Numbers don't lie, YouTubers. It is definitely showing that the PlayStation has had the quicker start out of the gate. However, this war is far from over. And I will say that it's that Microsoft Microsoft is gaining speed and that since then Microsoft have taken a number of steps to resolve some of the issues. They got rid of DRM, they got rid of only online, they dropped the god awful connect and reduced the price by £100. Um, and I will say that at the most recent E3 2014, Microsoft bought their A game and they actually were better than Sony and they actually showed a lot of really, really good games that are coming out. They focused on games that's what we wanted they have listened to the fans so i will say that microsoft definitely i think they're going to make a comeback um and definitely i do see them selling a lot more xbox ones in the coming year especially i actually think right now microsoft kind of have the edge on playstation 4 and the reason for that is there are more exclusives coming out on the xbox one in 2014 than there are on the playstation 4 you have a lot of games coming out Sunset Overdrive, Forza Horizon 4, the new uh, Halo Master Chief collection. All these things are coming out this year. So when it comes to choosing which console you're going to buy for yourself, your family, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your children for this Christmas holidays, and you're going to look at those exclusives, Microsoft are going to have a lot more to offer. The major exclusives for PlayStation this year are really lacking. We only have Little Big Planet 3, pretty much. Uh, but the major big dogs are not coming out till next year with the Order 1886. And I think that is a mistake on Sony's part. So, um, yes, I think PlayStation 4 is winning. But I do think that Microsoft have actually um, dealt with some of the issues and are moving in a positive direction. Now, what do I want to see from the big three coming up? Well, obviously, I want to see more exclusive titles. And I don't mean titles timed exclusives like for example just today the new rise son of rome it has been revealed that that is coming out on pc titanfall was supposed to be an exclusive for xbox one that came out on pc really why would i buy an xbox one if i could play that game on pc where it's cheaper and it's also going to be graphically more powerful and run smoother i don't get that so you need a lot more exclusives on your consoles guys both of you definitely definitely need that um especially sony sony playstation now it's a great idea. It's too goddamn expensive. Reduce the price, please, on those PlayStation Now games. Renting something for a couple of hours for about three or four dollars? Are you kidding me? No, it's too expensive. Why don't you do some kind of online subscription? Hey, like Netflix, I don't know, $5.99 a month. Play all the games that you like. Sounds good to me. I would totally subscribe for that. So I don't like the whole renting games individually. And I do think it should be a kind of subscription that you pay for. I think that's where they should go. All right, Nintendo. Now, this is the this is the area that I significantly disagree with plain and simple man on. I agree that Nintendo have done many mistakes. I agree that Nintendo are in a very, very sticky situation right now. But I disagree on the way that they should change. Now, plain and simple man seems to think that Nintendo should start to be like Xbox, like PlayStation 4. 
I actually disagree with that. I think Nintendo should continue to be unique. Um, why should everybody play football? Why should everybody have all first-person shooters or all the same kind of games? That just makes the game market um, very, very boring. So I like the fact that Nintendo is different. I like the fact that Nintendo offers a different kind of gaming experience, um, and I think they should continue it. However, I think that Nintendo are playing it too safe. They're too boring. There is too much reliance on Mario, Luigi, Zelda, everything. All they're doing is just re-bringing out the same series again and again. And I'm sorry, Nintendo, but bringing out an extra cat suit does not make your game innovative. You need to do something new, something original. Now, you've given us a little bit of an indication of that. E3 was good for you this year, and I have to say the new Splatoon, it's got me excited. I'm really looking forward to that, and that game actually sparked some interest for me. Please bring more games like that. Um, I honestly think Nintendo used to be a company that took risks it pioneered it was the first major games console that really did it differently different kind of games they need to get back to that they need to take risks um and one of the reasons i think nintendo doesn't do that it's too japanese and i'm not saying that because i hate japan i love japan i lived there for four years love japanese people i love the culture but i know the business mindset and the business in japan is not about taking risks it's not about doing things differently it's by sticking to the formula that works and that is not gonna work for nintendo's future so they need to shake it up they need young blood in that company i think the average age of the management in nintendo is probably about 58 it's too old so they need to move forward um so i want to see nintendo do more innovation more different games they definitely need to get third party support they really need to get third party support because if it comes to buying playing a mario game and but i want to play say watchdogs or i want to play the new dragon age inquisition and you can't play it on the wii u but you can on the ps4 you're gonna buy a ps4 because there are more games that you can play on that console you have more choice and when it comes to next generation these consoles are not cheap and the games are not cheap so people are being a lot more careful and a lot more strategic with how they're spending their money when you buy a console it is a long-term investment and like anything with a long-term investment you do risk assessment you plan which is going to be the best deal for me in the long run and right now wii u is not that so that's what i think they need to do that's what i think all three companies need to do and that's where i weigh in on the whole console war hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway um i'll put a link to playing a simple man's channel in the description below i'm also going to put a link to video game network which i've joined it's a great place to go if you are a youtuber like me and you want to talk to other youtubers go along there drop in some videos post your videos on there and join a really awesome community if you're a gamer like me and you want to just talk about games online or you even want to organize some collab collab or co-op gameplay then you can do that too i'll put the link in the description below please go check it out all right guys and girls Whew, that's me that's what i think about the console wars so you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time of day it is where you live in the world and uh, i'll be back here again so uh, please hit like if you enjoyed this video all right have a great day guys and girls and i'll catch you later happy gaming take a breath kate <laughs>
uh, pounds, I think it was, $100, more expensive than the PS4, um, and you were forced to buy the Kinect with it. You weren't even given a choice, and it wasn't really until seven months later that Microsoft actually gave you the option to have a Kinect-free console. Why did it take Microsoft so long? If they had actually paid attention to Twitter and the online feeds and everything that people have been saying about the Kinect for, oh, I don't know, about three or four years, they would have realized that the Kinect was not a popular piece of hardware and probably wouldn't have forced people to buy it. Actually, Sony didn't force people to buy the uh, PlayStation I and it actually sold really well. And a lot of people bought it with the PS4 when it came out because of the whole console war thing that's going on. So this video is in in response really to a video that was came out uh, last week I think by Plain and Simple Man. I'll put the a link to the video in my description. It's a great video. Please go check it out. So, here it goes. This is me weighing in on the console war. So, as I say, the console war, it's far from over. People that say Sony's won it, Microsoft's won it, Nintendo's won it. You're lying. The console war is going to be a long, drawn-out war. There might have been some battles here and there and some victories here and there, but it's going to be a long, long stretch before a winner can actually be named. But I will say right now that I agree with Plain and Simple Man, and I do think right now the PS4 is definitely winning. And here are my reasons why. So, when the Xbox One came out, Microsoft absolutely dropped the ball uh, and here are the